Went ahead and start the stream. We're still waiting on Steph, but I wanted to make sure it was coming up okay. Um, so let me know if there's any problems with the audio or the video or anything. Uh, so we'll probably just sit here for a while until stuff shows up. He hasn't sent me a PM or anything saying he couldn't make it, so I imagine he's just running a few minutes behind. I guess we could check another room. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be, once Steph gets here and we start the match, I won't be watching the chat anymore. But until that happens, we can talk a bit. Um, yeah, hopefully we give you a good match. I am sometimes play quite badly against Steph, although I've been doing a little bit better in recent times. So he's here now. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to stop looking at the chat. I guess we're starting. I don't think he cares if I stream. So here we go. So, I haven't looked at the leaderboard, but it looks like he played a few games, so he's probably ahead of me right now. The, the, we could, we could see some, some leaderboard shifts here. Let's find out. Yeah, so he's ahead right now. Maybe we'll, we'll swap positions before the match is over. <clears throat> Uh, the 5-2 is actually pretty good here, because, well, it's not great, but, um, there's time to build a sort of bridge mini mega turn. You're not going to get all the provinces ever, but you could get up to multi-province buys with a hunting party farming village bridge thing um, you'll need to deal with the covers in some way so there's a question of whether you want to go for a money lender or an apothecary my preference is for money lender because you just don't want to have a hand you just don't want to start with coppers in your hand um, apothecary and seller have a nice synergy but anyway, it's also possible to just get, you know, four or five provinces very quickly, though that may not be enough points against a bridge thing. 
So we'll see how it goes. I think the 5-2 is actually a little bit worse than the 4-3. The but it's not way worse. Maybe it's way worse. Um, yeah, so the hunting party split is the most important thing here because the other draw is not as great. Although, I, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about the apothecary, but I don't love it. Um, if he were going, he doesn't like it either because you could open with a potion quite easily and just go for apothecary with this. This should be a quick, quick game. Depending on how soon he pulls his hunting parties low or, sh or short on his shuffles, he could get ahead of me here. Um, I think I'm going to take a seller over a silver. I expect he'll take either a farming village or a bridge here. Maybe. I mean, it would be a little soon for a bridge, so... This is a good draw. So those two turns were fine. The seller turn was kind of crappy, but this should be good. Like I said, I don't know that you'll ever get, you'll probably take a, another farming village bridge. Okay. I don't know that you'll ever get to a spot where you are Now I have to think about whether it's time to pick up a farming village. I think I want another hunting party. <clears throat> yeah, that was the right call. He may get up to like a double, or two pieces at least, hunting party and something else, or farming village bridge again. I feel like he's a turn ahead of me. Of course he went first, so that tends to be the case when they go before you. Um, I don't think you want a second seller. I don't really think you want a great haul. So you just take the, the hunting party. He didn't get enough money to... This is a good seller hand. Um, I still don't have the bridge, which is unfortunate. Um, he's actually drawing nothing off of that second hunting party card which is actually a, a point in favor of silver although not a huge point in favor of silver he might think about a gold actually he's 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 got the buy but he's only picking up one piece a turn so maybe a bridge and go for double bridges instead of money lending but um or just another hunting party and hope you get enough money in the next turn to pick up two pieces. So that's what he's going with. Um, I don't think it would have been terrible to get, say, a gold, but you don't like want a lot of gold, obviously. should be a copper so. 
but you don't <clears throat> want to be playing these bridges and just buying one one card either. I'm going to play the farming village first because I would like to skip through as much of this deck as possible. So here he finally got six so he can buy two pieces. Um, There's a pretty good chance that we'll get to a three pile just on these three eventually. I mean, you don't need so many bridges, but you want more. So yeah, and he getting to six makes the the gold suggestion seem pretty stupid from me, because um, you really just need to get to six, and then you don't want treasure because you just want to play these two cards as much as possible. Now he gets three of them. Um, I don't know how many coppers he has left, but it's not even impossible to do farmy village two bridges and hope you. Although he probably wouldn't draw all that yet. How many coppers are there left? Five. I haven't really been tracking who has what. This is a hard one to play from second player if they don't have a bad turn early on. Um, but that's okay. That's life. Um, I think one of these is a hunting party. I mean, what am I going to do? I'm probably going to farming village and there have been six hunting parties bought. Let me count to make sure I just have three. Okay, I just have three. So one of these cards is a hunting party and one of these cards is a something crappy. I think we'll leave the hunting party. Oh, is a silver. That's okay. He make it four buys in here, and that's gonna pretty well, pretty well, take me out of it. He could even just pick up the rest of the hunting parties, potentially, I think. He might not have quite that amount of money, but... At this point, if you limit my draw, really, if you limit me on any of these pieces, I'm going to have a hard time coming back. And I don't have a lot of flexibility in trying to do something else. Like... 
besides just falling on the pieces until he three piles me. Uh, because I could switch to trying to bite green, but that's just going to make my deck suck, and he'll be able to catch me easily. So I would say this game is, is more or less lost. Um, I would take... Well, it, it doesn't matter a whole lot what he takes. Any combination of these pieces, <laughs> unless he does something completely stupid like four bridges, is pretty much fine. Uh, there's no. I can only get like three gains or something, so there's not even a risk of three piling anytime soon. He can just load up on drawn farming villages and bridges. I think if I were him, I'd probably take two honey parties. A bridge in a farming village. <laughs> but anything should be fine. This is a pretty okay board you just what you have to do is a little forced on you as far as this engine and these four pieces three pieces mainly but not a lot of wiggle room once somebody gets a, a lead Like I said, I don't, I'm not sure why he's, I mean, he doesn't want to mess it up once he has this lead, but he would have to pick pretty terrible things for it to go south on him now. He can three pile at his leisure. So I would appreciate it if he... It would be nice if this match didn't last three hours, but we'll see. So he goes for all hunting parties. That's fine, too, because whatever you do, it's going to hinder me pretty severely. Oh, I should have played my bridge. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so that's a kind of a misplay. Not kind of, absolute misplay. That's really stupid on my part, which is not to play this bridge before I draw again. Um, it ended up okay, except now I've got estate, estate, and copper in here. Um, so that's the kind of thing where if you're behind and you choose that way to play you will make yourself even more behind um, I don't know how many gains he's capable of it doesn't matter much yeah so that was sloppy on my part it wouldn't have changed the outcome of this game but it's still not good practice.
I can still only get three gains. So, so as long as he leaves four cards out there, he can get two more bridges or he can put in great halls now if he wants a little VP padding or something. Still takes five death cart gains to run out the ruins. <laughs> so that should be his last copper. Well, I've got one. He could even take he could even leave three gains as long as he picks up some points. Any amount of points. So he could take a province bridge or a farming village and a bridge and another bridge and like a, a province or even just a great hall and I still can't end it on my turn so I suspect he can he, he doesn't need to play the money lender anymore so that's one more action so he could take a farming village and two bridges and still not still have enough actions for his terminals. He may not draw all of that, but I maybe should have gotten a bridge instead of a farming village here just to threaten a fourth gain yeah he's just going for the safe thing I guess the consistent thing but like I said he left three gains and and bought one piece of VP so he he'd just pile out next turn on whatever he wants Those are some nice my farming villages hit three estates. That's pretty funny. Um, did I mess the bridge thing up again? Yeah, so. I can, I can, you know, sign, sort of helplessly buy a province, but it won't matter. I'm going to resign to make this game go quicker. I should have just resigned a long time ago, but... <clears throat> okay. I tried to resign. It didn't let me. Okay, there it goes. We'll check real quick to make sure you didn't have a dead draw completely. If I can click on this, maybe not. Uh, I don't know if my internet has frozen. Or Goko. Uh, okay. Um. I don't know if the ca the stream is still going. Yeah, the so I don't I can't seem to get out of here I'm clicking continue and nothing's happening so I'm going to just reload the So Amoy 
pointed out that I shouldn't whine about Steph playing. If I think I lost, I should just resign, and he's right. That was not fair of me. Uh, hopefully the screen doesn't... Hopefully I don't get stuck on the end game screen again. I just peeked in the chat at the end of that last game just to see, but I closed it again. All right, so looking at this board, there's Baker, so that changes our opening options a little bit. Um, the, there's no draw. Other than that, you would want to do a, a, a strong engine of some sort. Um, this is actually an interesting board. I don't think you get any use out of Squire or Stonemason because of the dead draw aspects. Although, unless you want to open double urchin, other than that. So, Steph's going to put in three urchins right away. Or maybe a. Yeah. So, that's one possibility for the stonemasons. But other than that, I can't see much use of um, But I think you really want the thin deck. I think you'd be rewarded by thinning out and then attack should be good as well um, but other, I don't think you can get multiple bridges in play at all there's no draw university looks terrible squire looks awful warehouse looks bad baker looks okay and gold looks okay uh, but not too many golds just a few but everything else here looks looks pretty miserable Though I think I will try the stonemason thing. Just why not, right? Um, the other, you could do a warehouse, I guess, but that seems terrible. After this, I think you want to buy like plazas, bakers, and golds, and that's about it. Hopefully I get the collision here, okay, good. So I can chop a copper too. I'm not going to buy anything anyway, so... I think Sea Hag is just horrible. You can't get anything out of it except fueling your opponent's mercenaries. This is actually kind of a hard board to make fairgrounds worth it because your final deck doesn't have a whole lot of variety in it. Um, but if the game slows down long enough, you could get there. You'd like to be able to get to five without buying a silver, though, at some point. So Plaza might let you do that, although it's weaker with the... Um, Alrighty. 
he's got his second urchin maybe even his third if he has a mercenary in hand I'm not sure about the third mercenary but I might with four I'll get a plaza with three I might take one silver you you are going to have to buy a gold or two to to even get to where you want to purchase things but I don't think it's possible to do a weird maybe it's possible but it seems pr like a real stretch to do a thing where you trash coppers and rebuy them with bridge or squire and have that as a draw sort of it's not really draw so you would just be doing it for money and attacking but that seems like a real stretch He probably has his, well, I think he has to have his mercenary in hand, barring this one card. Um, I don't mind trashing the stonemason if I do draw my mercenary, and otherwise I would like to hit a copper with the stonemason, which I guess is more or less guaranteed anyway. I probably should have kept one estate. Alright, so here I'll get my second mercenary. He's up to baker now, which is quite good. I'm just going to, I am going to get a third because I still have a loose mer ur urchin around. That was a pretty lucky draw that I didn't take anything. Uh, what am I trying to say? That I didn't draw anything dead. Hopefully we get one copper off this. I'm not going to get a fourth mercenary. Mm, that hurts. Okay. So I really wanted to get a, another copper off that. I think I still have some. But I would really love to avoid silver. but I may not have enough fuel to actually get to five, unfortunately. Maybe I'll get to the end of my deck and play plazas repeatedly for coin tokens. That would be nice. I may be able to make money that way. I don't think Steph has an urchin. So Yeah, I'm in a bit of a bind economically. I'm not sure exactly how many junk cards I have left, but I don't need this many mercenaries. Uh, I don't want a squire. The only advantage of the squire is that 
I can just trash it later. Not that I want another urchin particularly, but... <sighs> Maybe he won't have junk or a mercenary in hand. That was wishful thinking that did not happen. He can get another baker. Uh... Yeah, I can get a sea hack. That would be awful. I don't think he can possibly mercenary after this. He can play some bakers though. He's going for stonemason. Yeah, that's smart. I don't... There's a mercenary. Um... the same starting hand I had last time. I don't know how many coppers there are left. He can trash a stonemason. He's still got a few coppers. So he can uh, potentially attack me some more. With his mercenaries. <clears throat> The one turn that I did not hit five of the mercenary draw may have broken me. It's no, this game's not over though. It's still good, good ways to go. He's just going to be producing a lot of coin tokens every turn. 
and I am going to be producing not so many at this stage. And he also will still be attacking me. Um, I mean, I'm gonna. It's just the same thing that happened last time. I'm gonna draw through the deck and maybe be able to buy a baker and save like one coin token or something. But he can buy, he can overpay again. Alright, let's. Let's watch my turn and then we'll see. I think I'll resign. Um, hey, and the continue button click this time. There's not, there was no way for me to come back. So it's now zero two. Steph went first in both of those games. So we'll see if we get three or four pro games in before we have to switch earth. Nope, so that's the last one we'll be able to do that for. Is this shelter? Shelters, yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, the shelter makes Jester a little bit worse, which Jester is not great anyways. Um, they also would normally make Butcher a little bit worse, but Courtyard's okay. Um, there aren't enough. There's only Tribute as another village potentially, so besides your Necropolis. So you're going to do something which is more money like um, or more money centered so 
I think I'm just going to do butcher courtyard. Yeah, remaking these into courtyards is okay, I guess. It's not what you'd want, though. Maybe he forgot to check, and I doubt that. You can forge the... Forge the shelters and okay. Well, I'm just going to play right into the money thing because why not? I'm going to change this hovel into a courtyard. He'll be thin eventually, but. Or pretty soon, but you're gonna need just money at some point. Bank should be pretty good here. It's good with butcher. I'm not sure that so I'm gonna have five and one of them's courtyard one of them's butcher I'm gonna have six I think I'll change this into a uh, really don't want the over gun estate anymore I can get a gold, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I almost forgot about my... coin token. The fives didn't look too appealing. So this last card should be a copper. I uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and send this all the way up to silver, and then this next shuffle should be I should be in good shape. I don't really need a third courtyard right now. So the advantage of getting a third courtyard would be I could get another gold. Hmm. I like my position quite a lot here. Like, quite a quite a lot. Um, I'm just going to save up two tokens. feel really I think I have this one and I can accelerate the end with butchers so I don't think I'll have a problem closing out I don't really know what he has to do yeah um can put a gold back and use one coin token or I can put a necropolis back and have that for hitting courtyards potentially uh, I think I'm going to use a coin token uh, 
and this will be a duchy. Well, given that he still hasn't bought a province, I'm going to get another gold. And I'm actually going to play a courtyard and put a butcher back for now. The other option would just be to butcher gold. Uh, yeah, I think I want the butcher in both shuffles, so that sounds better. And all these courtyards. Hopefully I can get to enough golds here. He can, like, remake a bank or butcher gold, so he can get a couple provinces maybe in a turn. I just don't know that that's enough since I should be able to get to my fifth one we hope yeah now he's gonna need quite a few duchies okay so I On that one, I had really good draws too in general, but what he was doing is pretty stinking slow in general. Um, this is just too fancy. And once he adds green, he's not gonna, his turns are gonna become quite a lot worse. I think the 5 2 is. It wasn't like overpowering there, but it was better than the 4-3. So that was lucky for me. Now I have to switch to casual games, because I have to go first for the rest of these. So if I can win from first player, this match could go well. Alright, that didn't work out there. Great, this happened again. Okay. This could become extremely annoying if we have to do it this way. If the continue button is broken for me for all these restarts. Oh gosh. All right, please work. You still, of course, it doesn't take you back to the lobby you were in because the lobby system is r ridiculous. It should at least try to put you in the lobby you were in first, and then if it's full, I guess send you to the next one on priority. Oh, it does. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Um. All right. Ooh, Black Market. The uh, Black Market series, Steph vs. SCSN, was pretty awesome. I have to admit, Black Market's not my favorite card, but six matches with Black Market was pretty entertaining. Uh, if I was picking, it would be six matches with ill-gotten gains, but no one would ever agree to that. So, uh, In the Black Market, the, we've got engine pieces out here except for plus buy. Uh, but black market can act as your source of plus buy in a sense. Um, and in here, there's more buy, at least one, and alter for gain. So you want 
And plus, it's a colony board, so you're incentivized to go for an engine anyways. I think the question is, do you... Well, I mean, is there anything in the black market you need urgently? I mean, the best thing is probably Festival. Or maybe Hagler. So, I don't know that the black market black market is urgent. So I would take the steward potion opening. Oh yeah, we have Baker. So you could 4-4. Four, four, so you could like... I still don't know that you want anything with steward potion. You probably want a quarry at some point to play with your black market. But that's still... A, a, you have to go out of your way to get it. So who knows? Throning black markets will be source of extra gaining. I don't I don't think you want to spend your token. Throne room will be really good here. Pretty much at any time. We'll see if Steph does something different. There's not expensive actions that you want, so that makes the uh, core early quarry quite a bit worse. You may never want it really. Nothing in here is so expensive that you get a whole lot of use out of it. This is not a great draw. Um, Here, the, saving the token will be nice because I can trash two estates and still afford a scrying pool. We'll see if he gets a seller. My throne room is like a little bit premature, but if it works out, it should be good. And it looks like it's likely to find a target. I think I'll spend my next buy on a black market. Even if I draw the potion again. So I've had a good start here. I haven't been paying real good attention to what he's done, but I don't know that the seller does much for you. I mean, it's okay with Scrying Pool, but it's. Uh, you're going to trash most of your junk cards anyway. There's potential for the big scrying pool vault thing to make a lot of money. If you have a million actions, discard and draw them back. But Should I try and... No. I'm going to discard this well yeah okay whatever I have I can still buy a black market so let's get to let's go further okay That was a lucky turn, or a good turn for me, really good turn. He might just leave it. Yeah, I think that's the right decision by him. It's not surprising, Steph tends to make the right decisions. None of these are great, Bandit Camp's pretty good. Hunting party is useless. Even draw is not a problem. He probably just gives us grind pool. County house is not useful. You won't need like so many scrying pools either. <laughs> But you'll want them. You want several, but not a million. 
drawing w should be pretty easy here. There's some question of even whether you want to start just getting thrones so that you can throne black thrown up various things and not your scrying pools. Uh, if I get this, I can't trash them. Uh, so if I trash, I cannot buy a throne room anyway. So let's go for yes. Thank you. Alright, so I would say that the festival was the big prize in the black market. And I was lucky enough to grab it, so that may give me a, a the win here. You can generate a lot of buys by throwing it. And now I can pick up a quarry, because I can get good use out of it. Monument, you can make two points a turn, which is not incredible. I didn't draw anything here. Uh, I'm not sure about the sellers really, but it's probably better than nothing. I could have actually gotten like a quarry or a throne room there, but. We'll see. Hagler is pretty good if he can afford it. And you can pick up like Throne Steward and then make money. I I will try to build a double colonies because he can't do that. I don't think there's any other plus buy in there. Yeah. So I have an advantage in that I can eventually buy more than one colony a turn. And he can never do that. But he could get to a state where he has no problem buying a colony a turn and just run it out on me pretty quick. That's These draws are not great. This is good though, very good. Okay, so I'm going to play a festival and throw in the steward. Oh, council room's in there too. Well, I'm going to get that. So that he definitely doesn't have any buy. And the draw won't matter because, well, draw is not really an issue here. Well, that was very, very lucky of me. I may not play the council room for a long time actually. But I will buy a quarry now. I know I said that last time, but this time I really mean it. This is a funny case where council room will be used just solely for buy. I mean, not solely. I may get some use out of it if I add platina eventually. But the big draw of it will be 
not draw, but buy. I don't know that he has his haggler just doesn't get, I can now get up to five buys a turn and that's gonna be really really useful I'm gonna my commentary in this game is just going to repeatedly be buys are good here uh, so insightful. So we're both very trim. I don't think either one of us will have trouble drawing our decks. There's a throne room in here somewhere. We got throne room and council room, but I want the throne room. Um, I'm not even sure it really, I'll get one last scrying pool, I think. Um, what can I do here? So we'd like to get a core and a scrying pool, so that's six. Probably it would be better to play the festival and throw in the black market. But, uh, none of those are that great. But they're all okay. The question is what else would I buy? So I would trash with steward, which would give me two. So I'll have eight. So I don't really want these. Yeah, that's going to hurt them a lot. That having a dead turn is just awful here. And you wouldn't expect it either for how trashed he is. Alright, so I can get the Cory down and then play Black Market and go from there. We don't really want to... So these these are all good. I'm not going to get the vineyard just because it'll be worth a lot, but I don't really care that much to buy it. Um, I'd rather get a scrying pool this turn. So I will get the merchant ship though. And I should have saved a couple of coppers to trash with my steward.
we gotta see if we can use all these buys here and I think we can so I'll play the council then um, <clears throat> I'm not real sure about the vault buy there actually, but it seems like it could be okay. I would like to trash the coppers this time. I should have done that last time. Yeah, the potion, the coppers here are gonna come back to bite me in the butt. Well, they could have. Um, okay, I, I, this is. 
uh, I should be able to like get a like a lot a lot of money from Vault here, uh, but I don't know exactly the best way to do that. Uh, that's confusing to me. So you want to throne maybe I'll just do it at the end I don't know uh, I don't think I can end it this turn I don't know I can't so Oh, I need my quarry. Yeah, I need that quarry, don't I? This can't be, like, a great, great play, but... Uh, I want the money, so... I don't know if it's him or if it's Frozen. Okay. Or maybe it's Goko. Sorry about that. Uh, so I throw in a throne, so I'm gonna. Um, Really, this is a bit of a... I should have discarded, like, two, one more copper or something. Uh, could have got a little bit more money. It, it, it isn't going to matter. I'm just... Uh, I got too lucky here with the black markets for it to make much of a difference. Play the quarry. These cards are free. Uh, so we might as well get the altar. And the caravan. Oh, I should have done the vault thing again with the altar. It wouldn't have been worth all that much now, but
yeah, I just want this grind pool to keep my consistency up. I should be looking for piles. Okay, I think he's going to resign. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing he can do after I get the festival in the council room. Not on that board, so... Uh, that would be the complaint some people have with Black Market, is that if you pull a certain card, you win the game. Which I think is definitely true on that board, although it's not true most of the time. Most of the time the Black Market has enough good things that, that it gets spread out. And if if we had split the plus buys, then we would have had a game. Although I think Festival's better there. Uh... So we went first. I went first, fortunately. Um, it's 2-2 now, for those who are may not know. And I'm going first in the last two games here. So. Uh, this is one of those weird boards where you can get an engine going. It just will take some time, possibly, unless you draw well, and then it won't take long. But once you build the engine there's not a lot of payload other than forge shenanigans you can get a lot of duchies and estates off the hunting grounds though from either altering or forging and you can workshop for your heralds which would be the idea that's just not I mean, it's clear to me that you could build a draw engine here. That's obvious. I just don't know what you do with it once you have it. And there are no attacks. Um, the weirdest thing I can think of is putting in treasure maps and golds and then forging, like workshopping for estates and forging up to provinces. That seems just like really awkward. Everything's here, though, you know, to build an engine. There's just nothing here to slow down the other player. I mean, if you're going to go for a money thing, I would think it would be Embassy Big Money. But it might just get wrecked by this Herald thing. So, sorry, um, my inclination is to play the embassy big money thing. He's going to probably play the engine. You can pick up lots of duchies at the end. I just don't know if you'll keep your draw going. If there are a real village here, I'd go for it, but <clears throat> he's probably going to crush me. The opening will tell us which of the two things he's going to go for. The other kind of nice thing is that the silvers interfere with his heralds a little bit. Um, I'm going to take an embassy over gold. We'll see how quickly he gets up to speed here. Is he going to get another workshop?
if I draw my embassies at the top of my shuffle a lot, I will probably win. Because that can make a big difference in the speed of this kind of, of plays. Um, Five is a little soon for a province. So. And this will be a second embassy, and then it will be green. From here on out. And if I hit exactly eight a lot, I will probably win. If I collide my embassies a lot, I might lose. If I hit exactly 7 a lot, I will lose. He's not going to like do something crazy this next turn though. So. We'll see if he gets up to like 5. Or six, which is what he would like. Five's not that great, actually. Six is, but five's actually just not good at all for him. Yeah, this is going to be. I think hard for him to win. He'll need a forge really soon. This is an excellent draw. Yeah, this will be another problem. So, I had good draws, but like I'm at what? Four provinces by turn 12. I mean, come on. <laughs> He'll need so many duchies. I guess forge, altar, hunting ground. Gotta be forge. And I'm gonna take duchies because they don't hurt me very much. We'll see if he can if he can put something together here, that'd be really cool. A cool win for him, so I almost hope it happens. He's getting through his deck now, mostly. I would love for him not to have his forge, but <laughs> that doesn't seem likely. I would have loved for him to reveal his forge off a of herald very early on. That would have been the best thing. The, the bad thing, like I said at the beginning, is his engine get firing doesn't slow me down in any way. I'm still going to be able to pick up provinces and duchies and things. So he would need an attack of some sort. He didn't get to his forge. Okay. That was very lucky. That'll add another turn. He probably th should be a hunting grounds, I think. Or an altar. My embassies colliding would be real bad, but not the end of the world.
Yeah, and I'll probably have an embassy in these. Oh man. It's not even firing consistently. That's game. That's half. Or that's one away from half. I had really, 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 really good draws. Embassy Big Money won't do this on average. But it is Embassy Big Money is very fast at getting provinces. Especially if your opponent isn't really making use of the silvers. And he wasn't, so it's like you're playing you're playing embassy big money without the drawback of of giving your opponent a little economy boost. frozen here. Let's check. Okay. We'll see if it loads up. Uh, go, go. It wouldn't surprise me if we just couldn't finish the game. Finish the match because of Coco. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to reload because this is frozen. Oh, what a joy. This website. A true joy to play on. Can we make it? Can we make it this time? Oh gosh. Uh, the five two is worse than the four three here. I guess I could doctor. That sounds. Not great. Um, no plus buy. Um, but you can attack. Doctor's a pretty bad curse trasher. Familiar is a pretty good curse giver. Plus, you have Alchemist here to support the. the potion play I wouldn't open with any of the fives uh, I might open money lender like native village Doctor's possibility. Um, 
We'll try Doctor. Why not? This seems bad, actually. Although I hit two estates, which is awesome, and I hit four for a potion, which is cool too. Sorry. Hit the mic. Uh, yeah. If I hit three potion off my drone. Oh, he has it too. Oh, but he has the 2-5, which is way worse than the 5-2. I'm getting lucky in this match. So he'll probably do native village something. If you win the curse split really big here and they have to spend their time trashing with Doctor, you can win here because there's no catch up. It's just like you can either do an alchemist stack or, or money. I mean, an, al an alchemist stack or like a lab money thing. I mean, you're going to buy alchemists once you have the potion, anyways. Uh, okay. So there are three cards here. One is an estate, and one's a potion, and three are coppers. He hit two estates too, so that's good for him. I think I went a whiff on the on the potion, most likely. So I think I'm going to go for the copper. Well, if I go for estate. Nope. Alright. Uh, I'm thinking Haven or... I'm going to be able to buy Familiar. I'm thinking either Haven or Native Village. I don't want a Silver yet. I want to play the Familiars more quickly. I'm going to do Haven. He got a potion. Okay, so... I should have said Copper when I did mine, because I was basically guaranteed to get three potion anyway. But that's life. And now I'm going to say copper. We get two. That's very good. Maybe early for a silver still. need one. I was probably wrong. SCSN is probably yelling at me in the chat. He's good about that. Keeping everybody honest about their treasure purchasing. Don't get out of hand. So you probably want a treasury or a lab. Tribute is not very good here. So there's one curse and a potion. Still more coppers, right? I've only trashed a couple. We'll wait guessing curse till we have a few more. 
with the lab. I'm gonna win the curse split really big here. That's really rough for him. I can buy alchemists now. This is this game is probably over. Uh yeah, this game is definitely over. Here's three coppers, or two coppers, too. Uh, how many coppers do I have? Three. I just want to be able to buy a treasury, I guess. I can also, since I'm drawing my deck... Ooh, a goat. I can, maybe I should have bought a transmute last turn. That's a possibility. I can trash the curses as they come in. In theory. Seems not good, but as long as I stop before my last card, I miscounted my money, so I need another silver or a transmute. Transmute gives a little flexibility. So. You can even like transmute a doctor into a duchy and then the duchy into a gold or something, potentially. I don't know what's left, like a haven or... Bunch of familiars. Uh, a transmute.
So this game was also just like luck, more or less. Uh, I mean, I think I played, well, I, you know, the truth is most Dominion games are just luck. Um, and it's just about taking advantage of it if you get it. And not doing something colossally stupid, which I don't think either of us have done here, so. There's just some, a lot of randomness involved. You can't really control it. But, uh,. I'm happy I was lucky in these last, well, the Embassy Big Money, I think he made the wrong call, but I was lucky in the Black Market Scrying Pool game, and I was lucky here. I'm guaranteed to draw my deck here again still because I have this slab haven away. So that'll be five provinces. And another alchemist stack still back, so that should be able to get me to six. He is not, well, this is how Doctor works, though. Once you get past the beginning of the game, even though he has, you know, a lot of curses, they're hard to hit because there's all this other crap in there, too. So the that's just the luck of it. He can't catch me on duchies. I can make duchies, too. Pretty easily. Actually, I can just buy out the provinces. I would like to see the haven. Um, And next turn will be half. Actually, I'm probably already out of reach with the estates gone and one of the duchies gone. Okay, so I won the match 4-2. Um, it was a good match. We all, I think we both played pretty reasonably. I'm not sure about his Herald thing, but other than that, um, or his whatever he did on that uh, butcher board, the Forager remake thing.
And this game he didn't have a sh shot after like turn, I don't know, six or something. He was out of it. I th unless I had tried something really dumb. But So, uh, thanks everybody who watched. Um, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but uh, I'm going to stop the stream now. I may stream just some regular games later on. Not today, but later on in the week or something. After I'll probably watch Amelie's stream since it's coming on right now. So uh, good luck to him. Uh, anyway, see you guys later.